Hi, Hiram here. Last week I did a test on the Trangia. Oh, for those of you that are saying I'm saying it wrong, okay, I get it. But unfortunately, Americans always mispronounce foreign stuff, so I'm sorry, but it's Trangia to me. Anyway, last week I did a test where I used this inter <clears throat> excuse me, internal corrugated aluminum pot stand on the Trangia using the West Wind pot stand. This was something that Bebopper suggested. After I did that, I had several comments and emails from the Bebopper and from RJ Berg and others saying, use the West Wind stove the right way, which is the upside down way. What they're referring to is back in September of last year, I did a test on this for a thing that the Bebopper suggested that this west wind would work better upside down than right side up. What I'm going to do now is reproduce that test just to see if it follows. So I have the west wind pot stand upside down with the Trangia burner sitting on the table. Let me light this. Okay, so the burner is lit. In this case, you just light it on the inside. Let's wait until that gets to a bloom. So, okay, I've got a bloom there. I've got two cups of water here setting at 58 degrees. And let's see where that goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, to 12 and 6 minutes, 4 seconds. Okay, I'm glad I redid that test. This just goes to show how temperature can affect things. When I did this test before, it was in September. And the temperature, the room temperature, was 80 degrees, I think. Yep, 80 degrees. So the two cups of water starting at 57 degrees came to a boil in 4 minutes and 55 seconds. This time, two cups of water starting at 58 degrees. Room temperature is 50 degrees, 30 degrees colder on a cold tabletop. Came to a boil in 6 minutes and 4 seconds. So now I'll use that for a reference. I'm going to let everything cool off here. I'll come back in about an hour and a half or so so that everything is cooled off. And I'll redo the test using the eye caps. One point here. I noticed on my last test, maybe I'm using too big of a hole here. It seemed to concentrate the heat in this one spot and it somewhat melted the aluminum foil right there. Nowhere else, but just right there. So I might have to use smaller holes and further down. Opening up this one little area with concentrated, out, concentrated flames just melted the aluminum a little bit there. So anyway, I'll be back shortly for you in about an hour or so for me, so see you then. Hi, Hiram here. Back for the second part of this test. I had to make another eye cap that was a little bit taller because of uh, when you invert the west wind pot stand, it makes for a longer distance between the uh, burner and the bottom of the pot. So this one's about three and an eighth inches tall. Instead of punching the big hole in it, I put a couple of pin holes in this. So that should release the, the uh, alcohol vapor pressure. Let me just put this down into the burner. Now the beef offer said that I should start this with the pot on. 
that he thinks that this will take off all right that way. So, here I have the burner in the west wind stove with the eye caps in place. Here I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I don't know if you'll be able to see this though. Let me start this. Okay, the alcohol primer is burning. And let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212 at 441. Cool. I don't know if you can see this, but have much larger flames here. I don't know why it's burning yellow. I think it might be time for me to clean the burner out but a much, much bigger flame than I had the first time without the eye caps in it, in the burner. Let me just take this off. Okay, look at that, a much bigger flame. I think what it's doing is the eye cap is driving the heat back down into the burner and making it vaporize even more. Let me just take this out of here. Now, now that I took the pot off, it's just the plain flames on the aluminum, and it is melting it there. See that right there? Once I took the pot off, that draws the heat away. Right now, instead of the heat, the flame coming up and then out, it's just going up into a point right in the center, and it's making that uh, the eye caps much hotter and melting it down. So I guess this isn't a good thing to keep the eye cap burning like this. It needs to have the flames deflected away. I wonder if you could also make something like this out of flashing without the corrugation, just uh, flashing coiled into a ring like this, into a tube rather. But let me take this off now. Like I said, when you take it off, that's well, kind of stuck in there. When you take it off, it's going to have flames on it because of the alcohol that's in it. So just take it out carefully, set it aside. Again, like always, I say you put this out with the simmering, not with the lid. So I'll just drop that on there like that. Okay, cool, except for the melting of the... See, now the rest of it is okay. It just can't take the heat of the flame just on this. Alright, the first part of this test, two cups of water with the Trangia upside down, not with the wind, west wind upside down. You got a burner upside down, that would go good. The west wind was upside down. It took six minutes and four seconds to bring two cups of water to a boil, uh, starting at 58 degrees. Yesterday, when I had this right side up, the same two cups of water starting at 61 degrees took 6 minutes and 19 seconds to come to a boil. So it's pretty obvious that this west wind works better upside down. Then when I put the eye caps in it, this went to 4 minutes and 41 seconds. So that's like almost, what, one and a quarter one and a half minutes quicker so the eye cap does seem to affect it and make it burn faster and hotter so I thank the Bebopper for suggesting this originally of flipping the west wind upside down I thank him for his suggestion today along with RJ Berg to give this a try like I said I think I may just try this Originally I used this aluminum, I'm going back, thinking here, 
Originally I was using this aluminum foil as a pot stand for a uh, ultralight stove. Here we go. This one, the one with the teacup and a little piece of aluminum foil on top. This doesn't generate that much heat so it worked alright. But I think when we're getting to a larger burner maybe the aluminum foil is just not strong enough. Or you have to put the flame out right away so it doesn't just, <coughs> excuse me, doesn't just burn on the aluminum foil. But anyway, I thank the Bebopper and RJ Berg for that and the other people that sent me emails on it. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.